Uh, the Republicans had exactly double that many very light red seats. They had 52 of them rather than 26. And coincidentally, they won the exact same percentage of the vote. About 16 Democrats won 18 out of 26 light blue. Republicans won 36 out of 52 light red. Literally the same percentage, but they have double the light red versus light blue seats. And, and that's a big deal because if Democrats are going to win back the majority, we're going to have to crush it with the light red seats because it turns out out of 400 seats, only 171 of them have a Democratic lean to them that are our home turf. Some of them by this much, some of them by this much. But uh, you can't get to 201 if you're a Democrat, if you're not pretty much holding serve with almost all of the 171 blue leaning seats. And, and so in 2024, we won 160 of them. That's a 94% win rate. That's good. Not quite as good as we did a few years earlier. We're going to have to juice that a little bit more in order to get to the promised land of a majority. The uh, Republicans now, they won 92%, uh, just a slightly lower percentage of their red seats, but they have so many more red seats, 229 red seats, 171 blue leaning seats. We have to win a higher percentage of them. And then obviously we're going to have to, to use the tennis analogy, we're going to have to break serve uh, several dozen times, probably at least 35 to 40 red seats in order to get a majority overall of the New Hampshire House. Here's the thing. There's a second layer of seats. I mentioned the light blue and light red. There's the medium blue and the medium red.